So it's Dana, and I've been doing a little side work here, trying to figure out a few things. And I thought we'd go live and discuss it. I've been trying to make a master list of stamp companies and what those stamp companies allow or do not allow as far as using their stamps, reproducing their images, and selling those items. So, I think that I want to have a little discussion about this and open up what I found. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot of information. So, I kind of am lost. I'm at a loss, I guess I should say. Sometimes I feel like these companies are asking too much for something that they sold me and then they want me to limit the use of. But at the same time, it is their product and their copyrighted image. So in the end, how do we know what we can use, how much of it can we use, and when to stop? So what I've tried to do is I've tried to collect some of the stamps I have purchased so that I could review what these policies are. So um, what I'm finding out now as I look into some of these stamp companies is that a lot of the stamp companies are subsidiary companies of other, other name brands. So it's a lot, it's a lot of information. So how do we really know what we can sell as crafters? Can I make a journal and sell it in an Etsy store or at a craft fair? Can I make a tag? What can you make? What can you not make? Hi, Marcy. So I started doing some research and accumulating a list and it's extensive and it's taken me a long time. And I'm getting aggravated. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it into a spreadsheet so that eventually I can just continue to add as I buy stamps and I read their angel policy, I continue to I can continue to add them to my list. I do know one thing. I'm really disappointed with Inka Dinka Do, and I'm going to have to stop buying their stamps because of their angel policy. Hi, Maria. So I, I was never really interested in it. And prior to this, when me and a friend had opened an online shop, I thought it was fun at first and, oh, I was making stuff and I was selling stuff. And I realized as I took orders for items um, that it wasn't fun anymore. When you have to make an item and someone wants it to their specifications and you think you bought, you made a beautiful item that you've worked hard on, and then the the person that you sent the item to wants a refund, but yet they don't want to send the item back to you, or they're willing to send the item back to you, but you have to pay shipping and refund their money. So it it after a while, sometimes it's not fun. I'm not gonna lie. I had a couple issues. I had a repeat customer who continually um, made complaints and I remade items and I even allowed her to keep them. And ultimately I closed my store because yeah, I wasn't trying to do that. So um, here's what I started to do now. I thought, you know, even if I go to a craft fair, chances are none of the big shots and a big company are going to catch me if I do sell something illegally, but I would prefer to just do it legally so I don't have to worry about it, right? So this is what I found. There are a few companies. I have so many stamps. I have so many stamps from so many stamp companies, and we all have these. We all have, I have seen multiple people haul these stamps, different stamp sets from Tuesday morning to, I don't know. I don't know how many. So um, like I said, what I want to do is I want to make a spreadsheet 
I want to make a spreadsheet of who has an angel policy, who wants credit, who has limits. But for right now, I'm just going to give you a few examples of what I found. These notes are actually in alphabetical order. What I started with was the sprucecrafts.com, the sprucecrafts.com. And that's www.thesprucecrafts.com. Anyway, if you Google the Spruce Crafts, you can look. She gathered up a whole lot of information and got me started that I was able to email myself um, from her website. And that got me interested because not I didn't recognize a lot of the names of these companies. Some of these companies are extinct, but a lot of the major companies were not included in this list. So I started to update it, but I'll give you an example of some items I found. For instance, a Muse art stamp. Yes, they have an angel policy and you can only use one stamp for 50 pieces of craft work in a calendar year. Now, if I bought the product and it's mine and I own it, it's now mine, right? So how can you say I can only use it 50 times and who's going to count? I don't count how many times I stamp something. I put stamps on a lot of my personal stuff. I put stamp, I might put stamps on a card. It, does that include the times I use it that I don't sell it? Or is that just for sale? That's ridiculous. It, but, and, and, and the blanket statement says you may not use any one stamp in more than 54 sale. Okay. It does say 54 sale pieces of craft work in any calendar year. I don't even know that I make 50 pieces a year, but okay, fine. And then it also says that the special, they have a special requirement, the copyright at Muse art stamps. And that's this little sentence here at Muse art stamps must appear someone on somewhere on the item for sale. Well, you know what? I'm never going to buy a Muse art stamp. So next to this name, I put just the word no. So when I get my spreadsheet together, I'm going to have a list of do I recommend it or do I not recommend it? And I am going to make a, a spreadsheet to share with everyone that I can because I think these companies like this need to be put out of business, to be honest. And they can, you know, they can come after me. I'm a little teeny tiny YouTube channel with my handful of followers. I don't care. I don't have an Etsy store. I, I don't care. This is my opinion. And I am exercising the right to share my opinion. So First Amendment says, I'm not buying Amuse art stamps. This is ridiculous. If you want to make a stamp for me to use, you can't put limits on it. So the next one is Away with the Pixels. Um, I'm, I haven't read their, their information yet, but they sell digital stamps, which I don't, I don't use digital stamps. I don't add those images. Apparently those are things you can cut and paste onto your, when you make digital art. So I'm not really there yet. I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that technical yet. So this brings us to clear dollar stamps. So this is, I believe, these are stampabilities by the paper studio. Oh, I'm sorry. That's Hobby Lobby. That's another company. Let's see. I believe I have a clear dollar stamps here. No, oh, no, I don't. Okay. So it doesn't matter, but now you can use those and they do just ask nicely when it's possible. Um, the seller must make it clear that the items are handmade and that the images are from clear dollar stamps. So this is more of an online statement. So I would say I'm going to put a little star here because if you're going to sell online, you can actually in your item description, you can make a little blanket statement. You can list all of the companies on here and whether you use that stamp or not, you can basically say my item may or may not include copyrighted images from, and you can just list those companies. And I've seen a lot of Etsy stores do that. And I wondered about it. Well, that's to kind of cover that. And then they have um, close to my heart. No, I'm never buying close to my heart stamps. 
it says it must appear on the st hand stamped artwork for sale designs look at this this is what must appear i'm going to circle this now it must appear on your artwork see that circled i'm not putting that on my artwork that's going to mess up my artwork that's silly so no i'm not using close to my heart diva rubber stamps i love you you have you have no restrictions no limitations no nothing and you know what i probably would if i used your stamps because of this, I would probably put a little note under my item listed that says special thanks to Diva Rubber Stamps for giving me creative freedom to use your product. I would. Okay, then there's DRS Designs. Again, no limits, no limitations, no special requirements. Eat Cake Graphics. Again, no limitations. It says, if possible, please give credit. But you know what? No, no problem with them. Gelatins never use a gelatin. I don't even know what a gelatin is. I think those are the, the, the thin silicone stamps that come in like a little tin. Um, and no, you know what? You have to write them a letter. You have to get permission. You have to, I don't know. And, and here's the thing. If you, I have my packaging here. Well, we'll get to Inka Dinka do in a minute. Okay, so Gina K Designs, gotcha images, great impressions, and Hambo stamps, awesome. Thank you all. Those are fantastic. Um, graphic 45. Now, I do have some Graphic 45 stamps, and I did go in. Their angel policy is extensive, and I did read it. And you know what? They state specifically that they sell their items to be used in handmade products, and they want us to use them, and that they would like credit to be give, given to the manufacturer and the paper line names whenever possible. So basically they said, if you sell online, we'd like you to mention that the paper is from Graphics 45 and maybe what the name of the line is. I think that's nice the way they word it. They weren't demanding. The only restriction is that they don't want more than three identical items made. Well, almost none of my items are identical. So, you know what? That's really easy for me to comply with that statement because I'm not going to mass produce one item over and over and over. I'm just not. Even if I do craft fair items, each one is a little bit different than the next. Um, so, then we have handcrafted. Again, they've got a limit. I'm not using handcrafted stamps. Then we have Hannah stamps. Again, no restrictions. Then we bring, that brings us to Hero Arts. I'm really sad about this, guys. Okay, so I went to a, a flea market recently, and I saw buckets and buckets, and I'm not kidding you. They have probably 30 milk crates full of Hero Art, beautiful Hero Arts stamps and um, another, uh, let's see, what's the other? Here, I'll tell you what the other company is called. Penny Black and um stamp yeah stamping up stamps and i thought what is going on these penny the penny black ones are amazing right you know what the lady tells me nobody wants these stamps anymore because they're starting to enforce copyright with online sellers people are throwing them out so she said if you're buying to make stuff for sales you don't want these stamps. You want these over here. And she's actually separated. And I'm talking buckets and buckets for nothing. 50 cents, a dollar. Great big stamps. She can't give these stamps away. So these companies are essentially running themselves into the ground. And I'm talking Penny Black has some beautiful artwork. And you know what? I didn't buy them. I thought, you know what? I don't want to get mixed up. I am purging my supply. And this really breaks my heart because my Inka Dinka news. I love them. You know I love them. But this, the, I am going to purge my personal craft supply of any ink that I have to limit or any stamp that I have to limit my use of. And I'm going to eventually know which, which brands I can buy and which brands I can't. But Inka Dinka do, shame on you. I'm mad. I'm really mad. And that's a, that's a, um, that's a division of EK Success. And EK Success has a horrible policy, by the way. Okay, so let's get back to the list. So Hero Arts, again, they limit um, 50 hand-stamped images. They want the copyright should be displayed, the Hero Arts trademark and 
copyright, um, you have to, if you plan to use um, them to sell, you're supposed to send your name and your contact information and a list of the stamps that you plan to use and the number of items you will be making um, with a, a statement that states you agree to respect Hero Arts copyrights and you have to contact them. And I'm not doing that. That's crazy. So Hero Arts, no, I'm throwing all your stamps in the garbage. Okay. I'll both of them, I should say, because I think I've I cleared out one once already, and I think I've I've acquired two. One was a gift. I'm not buying no more of your stuff. Okay, Imagine Essence. No, 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 no. Just don't even like this angel policy is so ridiculous that. And the following notice must appear on products created for resale, in a size and location that gives reasonable notice. So it says this has to appear in a size and location, okay? Components, copyright, no, that has to appear. No, I'm not using your stamp no more. Okay, I never owned any of your stamps anyway. These, I, most of these and what I'm finding out, right, exactly. So what I'm finding out in researching these angel policies is this. You know, a lot of these companies that had really ridiculous angel policies, are out of business now, or that line has kind of sunk into the ground. And let me tell you what, this is what's happening with dilutions and uh, some of these, I'll, I'll get there though. Okay. So then we have incredible stamps. Perfect. No problem. Inca stamps. Lovely. No limitations. I love you. Inca dinka do. I'm mad. I'm so mad. I can't see straight again. I am limited to, um, and nowhere on your packaging, okay, does it say that I am limited to use your stamp 50 times. But you know what? It's a maximum of 50 hand-stamped images. Now, that doesn't even say in a lifetime or in a year. So are you telling me, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to use your product 50 times and throw it away? Really? Because this is from 2012, the copyright, I don't know when I bought it, how many times I've used it. Nowhere on here does it say, it does say, you know, it's a registered trademark of Dimensions Crafts LLC, blah, 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 um, EK Success. It has their website on it, right? Um, it tells how to use them. But nowhere on here does it say I'm limited to use this product. 50 times in its life or how I can use it. If I buy it and it's mine, I'm not trying to do all that. So Inky Dinky Do, I, I'm going to miss you. Okay. Then we have Inky Anktix. Good job. Judkins. Oh no. Judkins, Judikins, however that is. These... Ugh. These are, this is not an angel company. And it says these stamps cannot be sold. And that copyright information must be given. So this is, no, I'm not using them. Kitchen sink stamps. Uh, okay. They want credit. Oh, they want you to give you, they want you to give them credit and offer a free stamp to allow you to do that. So if you contact kitchen sink stamps, they will give you a little stamp that you can stamp on the back of a card or a project you made that gives them credit. So I put like a half a sad face, like a wah, 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 cause I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't think I'm going to stamp your stamp on my product. Um, I'm just not going to use your stamp. Then we've got Magnolia Rubber Stamps. Yay, thank you. Good job. Magenta. Um, magenta Stamps and Angel Policy. I don't know. This one has, and I'll, I'll quote, contact Magenta Stamps for details explaining how to display information about trademarks and copyright. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not just not going to buy your stamps. My favorite things. Good job. Nice policy. My cute stamps. No. No. Copyright statement must be added to work, it says. I'm not doing that. Then, my mind's eye, 
goes right in here. This is an alphabetical list. My mind's eye. I love my mind's eye. And I have emailed them because my mind's eye makes these lost and found stamps, right? And which I have bought a bunch of at Tuesday morning recently. And I really need them to, um, to answer my email sooner than later because I really want to know. Then we have Paper Bag Studios, Good Policy, Paper Tray Inc., Good Policy, Penny Black, OMG. If you guys read this, oh, this one says you have to clearly display on the project image, semicolon, copyright, Penny Black, comma, incorporated. Yeah. There, yeah. Also, it says you have a maximum, Penny Black has a maximum of 36 hand stamped images permitted per stamp. That's the lifetime of the stamp. So after you use a Penny Black stamp 36 times, you have to throw it away because you can't use it anymore. <laughs> How dumb is that? That's crazy. So now we have repeat impressions. Now the rest, these are all great. This page, repeat impressions, River City, Rubber Works, Rubber Stamp Avenue, Rubber Stampede, which is also Delta Creative, Rubber Trouble, all fantastic. Then that brings us to S. We got Sizzix. Let me tell you what. Sizzix has a lengthy angel policy, and I read it. They are owned by a company called Ellison. They not only, in their angel policy, write that Ellison gets all the credit, but that you're also, to make it clear, that Ellison didn't approve you to produce that item, that they're not associated with your item, and that a breach of their angel policy is subject to the jurisdiction of the courts. And they also say just because they don't take action against you right now doesn't mean they won't later. I suggest you go to Sizzix and read that. You will never buy another Sizzix stamp. Let me tell you what, the dye policy is even stricter. I'm done with Sizzix. I'm done with you, Sizzix. I want to say a bad word, but I'm not going to. Okay, now we have San Francisco stamps. No, 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 no. This angel policy is so complex. It says you have a maximum of 20 stamp, hand stamped images permitted for occasional use, which, for instance, set fundraising. Fundraising, yeah. Oh, it talks about where you where your outlet is and credit must be given and it's all detailed and long winded and no, 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 just don't use it. Um, stamp and doodle. I don't know. I cannot find this angel policy. I was having some, I forgot to go back. So, okay. Stamp Pendis. Well, Stamp Pendis actually does a pretty good job with this, um, with this, um, with their angel policy. It's pretty brief. Uh, when you look at the website, it doesn't go into a lot of details. It doesn't have a lot of limits. So I like Stampendous. The fact that um, this, her list said no restrictions, but they actually do have one restriction. It says it must be hand stamped, which makes perfect sense. So you can't stamp the in image, scan it into your computer and just print a bunch of them off. And I agree, like, if you could do that, why would anybody buy the stamp? We could just, I could just send the digital image to my friends and they could print it off and they wouldn't have to use the stamp. So that makes perfect sense that it must be hand stamped. And by the way, almost everyone's policy says hand stamp. Okay, then we have Stampin' Up. Remember me telling you I was at the flea market and they have like 20 milk crates full of Stampin' Up? Yeah. Yeah, and then they get mad that we die from, buy from Allie. And here's the thing. Allie's copyrights don't apply to us because they're in another country and I'm not subject to their laws. Okay, so Stampin' Up, I'm never buying another Stampin' Up stamp. Uh, not only do they have limits on, on what you can use as far as rubber stamps, but I'm talking about... Um, Oh my, like ink and just, this is their policy. Like if you go and read it, I actually started laughing out loud. 
This is why Stampin' Up sales have went down, 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 down. Stampin' Up needs to revamp their angel policy. Yes, they have some loyal followers from back in the day, but you know what? Those people are older than me. And 10 years from now, you have no demographic because they're all passed away. So, okay, maybe they're not that old. Little joke there. But um, I'm telling you, listen to this special requirement. It says, all craft work created for sale using stamping up images must be marked with one of the official stamping up limited license stamp sets shown in the idea book and catalog. Are you kidding me? So I have to buy a stamp to give the first stamp I bought credit for use. Now, permitted sales outlets, they specify completed hand stamped projects may be sold at competitive and non-competitive retail locations, temporary craft events, community fundraisers, and over the internet. Great. If you stamp them with, with a Stampin' Up! image, they can be sold anywhere. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Stampin' Up! Bye-bye. Okay, and then we have Stamping Bella. No. Maximum of 50 hand-stamped images. Then we have, okay, let's talk about stampers.com. Now, you know, you guys know I love me some Tim Holtz, right? Let me get my, let me get my little. Okay, so there's a difference. Uh, you know, Tim Holtz works under a couple names. And I didn't know this until I went reading all this stuff. Now, Stampers Anonymous is one company and ranger is another company so the tim holtz rubber stamps the diane reedley rubber stamps and the wendy beachy rubber stamps not the clear stamps the rubber stamps are from stampers anonymous and it does say these images must be hand stamped and that these images are copyrighted right and if selling online that they want you to give them credit. So fine, we're going to put a blanket statement in that we may have used some of these, some of these stamps. If you are not selling online, they say they would like credit whenever possible. So that's a nice way of saying, hey, if you got a little sign standing on your craft table at the craft fair that says, you know, these are some of the products I used. That's all you have to like that, that. That makes them happy. But they did put in the words whenever possible. So I'm not going to stop buying these. I'm going to continue to use these. And I am going to give them credit because they ask so nice. And I love me some Tim Holtz. Okay. So then we've got now on the flip side, I went through because I thought he was a Ranger employee originally. And so I started looking into these companies and... These, Tim Holtz is trademarked. Some of his, you know, some of his, hi, some of his stuff is trademarked. But, okay, so Dilutions is a trademark line under Diane Reveille's, you know, um, guidance. She is the artist. And then D Dina we Wakely Media, that's a separate line owned by Ranger under Dina Wakely's art, you know, with D Dina Wakely's, the artist. And then they also have a letterate line, which is, you know, you guys know that uh, embossing stuff. So there's also stencils that go along with the Dilutions line and Dina Wakely Media. And do you know, Ranger has limited their use. So when you look at those products, it also says 50 handmade and the copyright must be displayed or included in the work. So, Dilutions, I liked you a lot. I'm done with you. Dina Wakely Media, I like your stencils, but I can't use them no more. Okay. So, then we go. That brings us to, okay, so we're done with Sizzix. And, well, we kind of got into Stampers Anonymous, so we went out of order. But San Francisco, no, no, no. No, no, no. It's a maximum of 20 hand-stamped images. Just be done with it already. No. No to San Francisco. Stamp and Doodle. Um, I have not been able to 
uh, make heads or tails out of that. I don't think I have any of those. I don't even think I've seen any of those. So I may drop that off the list if that's, uh, I may drop it off my spreadsheet. Um, if that's an extinct company, which it may be. Okay. Then we have Stampendous. Yes, yes, yes. Stampendous, um, again, must be hand stamped image, but no limits. Stampin' Up. Oh, I already said that. Stampin' Up. No, 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 no. We did discuss that already. Okay. So then we have Stampington. That's a no. No, no, no. They have special information about how the copyright is to be noted on your finished product. And it does have to be noted. So no, Stampington. I'm not buying any of your stamps. Stampscapes, it's a green light. Buy away. They have no limits. No restrictions, nothing. Stephanie Bernard Stamps, also called the Stamps of Life. Stephanie, I love your artwork. I have been wanting to purchase your stamps until I read your angel policy. Now I won't come within 10 feet of your stamps. Now, um, she has limited designers um, to 200 pieces. And you must credit Stamps of Life somewhere on each creation if possible. Well, I'm not going to count to, I can't even count to 200 when I'm in the middle of making stuff. And I'm not going to do it. So on to Sugar Nelly. Sugar Nelly Stamps, it's a go. Yes, yes, yes. Sweet and Sassy Stamps, no. They say on Sweet and Sassy Stamps, credit must be given. Nope, not going to do it. Tanda stamps, buy, buy, buy them up. Technique Tuesday, uh, their wording was questionable. I'll have to come back to that because I kind of have, um, I kind of have a question. They're actually allowing commercial reproduction of their images. So I don't know that Technique Tuesday is something I that is available in the retail community. I think that may be a wholesale type thing. Um, treehouse stamps, it's a go, anything. And then we have verb rubber stamps. That's an absolute no credit to verb should be given on the back of the item or on a tag attached to the item. It says in their angel policy. So no verb, I'm not using your stamps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a spreadsheet together. Um, I still have to look at Fisker's policy at Nola Blanc at Bow Bunny, um, Echo Park, Jelly Bean, Stamp Abilities, and Finnebear Stamps, and the Paper Studio. So I've got a lot of emails to send out. I'm going to make a master list. Um, I did not read Kelly's Creations because of the fact that she has put hers in an educational kit um, to teach you, you know, it's basically to teach people how to letter. So I did not, but I am going to add that in. So let me look, let me get, these are in alphabetical order. So H I J I J what's it called? Okay. Here we go. Kelly. Okay. Kelly creates. So I'm going to look up Kelly creates stamps and see what I can find on there. So this is, this is not the, the final, I mean, at any time, you know, I'm not an authority at any time. Any of these companies can go in as, as we're making this video right now, they could go in and write a whole new angel policy and post it online. So I am not the authority for this, but as I print these out, I do want to know, I do want to know what can I use the, what am I free and clear that I don't have to worry or count? What do I, what am I going to do? Inka dinka do every time I pull out one of your stamps count. What am I supposed to do? Keep a little tally board. Oh, I use this one six times and I use this one 14 times and I use that one 28 times. No. And I'm disappointed. I really like your stamps. No wonder you're kind of, I see your stuff at the Goodwill all the time. That's making me mad. Those big green rings. I didn't even know what they were, but I'm mad now. So 
I hate to part with my Inka Dinka Do stamps, and I'm going to keep them for personal use. Hi, Carrie Martin. I'm going to keep them for personal use, but I'm not going to buy any more. I guarantee you, I'm not going to buy another Inka Dinka Do stamp as long as I can avoid it. And I'm mad. I'm mad at Sizzix, too. They threatened me. <laughs> Well, Carrie, I'm sure I'll send you the spreadsheet. I decided I'm going to start a Bible. Not a religious Bible, a crafter's Bible. I am going to figure out. I am going to start making me a list because I'm forgetting stuff. Uh, you know, I, I go to do something and I look it up. I need a reference. I need a reference sheet. I'm going to make a spreadsheet. I'm going to go to. Microsoft Excel, that's probably a copyright uh, violation that I said that in my video. But I'm, um, I'm going to open Excel, make me a spreadsheet, and, oh, Crafters Companions not from the United States. Oh, yeah. Okay, so there you go. If... If the company is not um, a United States company, you know, if it's in Europe, we're not subject to their rules and their laws. The, the Court of England has no jurisdiction over me. I'm pretty sure they're not going to extradite me, but I would love to go visit Europe someday. So if they want to extradite me, let me know where to turn myself in and you can pay to ship me over there to be prosecuted. Yeah, right? Yay for Auntie Allie. Exactly. So just so you guys know, this is, it's like, um, it's coming, it's, it's becoming more and more common. And I think that now that people are educating themselves on these angel policies and this is reflecting in big company sales. And I'm not kidding you. You guys know stamping up was one of the biggest rubber stamp sales companies ever, probably. And for Stampin' Up! and Hero Arts and Penny Black to take a nosedive like they have, and me not understanding this, like I didn't understand on, I mean, there is... Literally, if you go to eBay, if you go to the sales sites, there are pages and pages and pages of retired Stampin' Up! stamps. And Penny Black stamps and Hero Art stamps. And they have beautiful, beautiful artwork on those stamps. And for them to have those angel policies, that's making people... It's making people just literally, and who's to say that, like, you know how many times I bought an unmounted stamp at a garage sale and I didn't know what company made it? Now, if I don't know what company made it and it doesn't have a copyright now, you know, Stampin' Up! puts a copyright on all their stamps. They put it in the rubber. But if I had an, a, a stamp that somebody had unmounted from the wood and I don't know who it's by, and I do an image search and it doesn't come up, then what? Then what? But here's the thing. What if tomorrow, like, what if tomorrow I, yeah, because they prefer to lose customers and not update their angel policy. So in trying to protect themselves and be greedy, they are essentially losing the crafting community support. And you know what? We're who buys their product. No, no, no. But I tell you what, Sizzix threatened me. <laughs> and I say that because read their, if you read their angel policy, I am not kidding you. It sounds threatening. And you know what? They put in there just because we don't take action today doesn't mean we won't come after you. In the future, it also says if you're in breach of their policy, you're subject to the jurisdiction of the courts in the United States 
court system. So you know what? I got a finger for you. Sizzix, I'm not buying. No, 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 no. I'm not buying no more Sizzix stuff. In fact, and I loved your dies, and I hate to see you and Inka Dinka do go, but I got three more fingers for you. You know what that, those three fingers mean? Zero. I ain't spending none of my hard earned money on any of that stuff again. So, you know what? I mean, I, I, I like Graphics 45 better now that I read their angel policy. They, they are so gracious and so encouraging, and it is worded. I'm telling you, they put on their, if you have a chance, go read their angel policy. You know what they put? They put, yeah, they keep kissing butts to these companies. No, yo, oh, I'm sorry, Sizzix. Oh, let me, let me um, do a video with all your stuff so I can get free, free, a free die because you're overpriced already with the $25 dies. But let me tell you what, I will tell you this. Um, if you go to the graphic 45 angel policy um, section, they tell you, we make our products for you to use. We want you to create items with them, whether it be for yourself or to sell. We don't care what you do with it. We would, when you can, we would like you to credit our company and that paper line when po whenever possible. That's all they say. And you know what? From now on, they said it so nice. From now on, I don't care if I sell online or at a craft fair. I am going to put up a sign that says I used, you know, this paper line from Graphics 45 called blah, blah, blah. We don't have to kiss anybody's butt. See, all we have to do is communicate. Here's the key. We might be strong little, or we might be tiny little individuals. I'm an old lady with a big vegetable garden, okay? I don't have a team of lawyers behind me. I don't have a billion dollars in the bank to fight a big company. But what I do have is a voice. I have a little tiny voice. But you know what? I can yell pretty loud. And United crafters are, are, are stronger than we know because as a unionized group of people that all have similar interests, we want, we want these, these angel policies to release us to use the products. And in what we have, we are super loud, Marcy. And it is time for us to unite. We have to stop buying products from these companies that make these petty demands. If you sell me an item, if I'm going to contribute to the growth of your company and give you my hard-earned money, you bet your bottom dollar, I better be free to do what I want with that item because it's mine and I paid for it. And if you... Put, try to put stipulations on me. We're not going to buy your products. We're not. And that's why I'm making this list. I'm going to make this list and I'm going to give it to every person I know. And if you have any information that I can contribute to it, I want you to email it to me at nightnursedana at gmail.com. Because you know what? I need you on my spreadsheet. I need everybody on my spreadsheet that I can get. And I need to know what products not to buy. That's more important. Don't waste your hard-earned money on something that you're restricted or can get into trouble for using. That's ridiculous. If I want to make a journal and I think it, what if I make a journal and I think it turns out super beautiful and I think, you know what? I've worked so hard on this and I don't really have a use for it. I'm going to list it on my eBay and sell it. And then all of a sudden I get in trouble or somebody tries to approach me and says, we're going to chart, we're going to fine you for this or whatever. Now I've never heard of anybody actually being prosecuted for this, 
But to tell you the truth, I mean, the Sizzix angel policy is kind of scary. When you read it, you feel threatened. And I'm not going to be bullied by some big company with a bunch of lawyers. I'm going to, I'm going to smooth. I'm going to throw your name in the mud every chance I get, Sizzix, because I'm done with you. And you're shipping as slow as molasses, okay? Although I really like those poinsettia dyes I just got. And they make beautiful flowers. But you know what? I can't put them on anything that I'm going to sell. All I can do is give them away. So I might give those. You know what? We might have our. You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to go through and I'm going to find all the crap that I can't use anymore. And we're going to have a giveaway. We're going to give it to somebody who said, who is never going to sell online. Yeah, I'm not either, girl. I'm not either. And to tell you the truth, uh, I think that that if we do, if if crafters can unite and stay united in what we will and won't do, um, we can actually we can call the shots as a whole. We can call the shots. It's just like EK success. Let me tell you what. I love EK Success punches. There are no better paper punches than EK Success. But you know what? Guess what? EK Success says, I can't punch out images and use them. They, EK Success makes these Inka Dinka Do stamps. Now, when I bought this, when I bought this stamp, nowhere on the packaging did it say I was limited to use this 50 times. Nowhere does it say for personal use on here. It says it's a registered trademark. It says it's made in China, has the UPC on it. At the top here, it just says clear stamps, has a few numbers. Yeah. Nowhere on here does it say that this product has a restriction. And if you don't warn me at the time I buy it, who's to say that I couldn't walk in a court of law and say no? When I paid for this product with my money, I thought it was mine and that I could do what I wanted with it. And what if it's a gift, Maria? What if you gave it to me? Because you know what? I bought this stamp set for you. Where's it at? I bought this stamp set for you. I didn't put it in your um, box. I accidentally put it in with mine because I have two now. And so I apologize. But I think this is the one I have two of. I laid it over there in your pile because I have a new pile for you <laughs> of stuff to send. But what if I said I got this as a gift? And if someone gave it to me, it's mine. Again, nowhere on here is there any restrictions. I did just email them today, by the way. Um, My Mind's Eye is a new, fairly new company, started in 1999. And they are just now kind of getting into these stamps and, um, and, and uh, expanding their crafting supplies with the scrapbook paper and ephemera and stuff. Um, they've only been doing that the last couple of years, so they're still a young company and I'm kind of waiting to see what they say, especially because I've bought a lot of these. Um, I am in contact with Fiskars right now over a broken punch that they're replacing. So hi, Sweetwater's cards. I forgot your name. This is bad. So, um, stamp abilities, for some reason, I can't find the subsidiary. Oh, this is stamp abilities is a subsidiary of the paper company. That's right. Of the, or the paper studio, which is the Hobby Lobby brand. So Maryland, that's right. I'm sorry. I am so bad with names. Well, you've missed the whole shebang. I have a few more. Um, I need to get a whole, I haven't heard back from Echo Park. Um, 
Yeah. So, and these were a gift from Lisa. She bought me this stamp set. And then Finnebear, I believe, is, yeah, that's part of Prima. And then Jelly Bean is part of Hampton Art. Now, Hampton Art had a beautiful policy. I love you, Hampton Art. Hampton Art um, also um, is the parent company to, uh, what, the, uh, Graphic 45. So, yeah, Hampton Art has a beautiful angel policy, really, really good, uh, very lenient. They would like credit when possible. And because they ask so nicely, I am going to credit them every time I use any product out of any of their lines. But Sizzix, I'm done with you. Sizzix angel policy is threatening. And it literally says in there, just because we don't come after you today doesn't mean we won't prosecute you tomorrow or next week or in the future. It literally says that if you go read Sizzix on their website, their angel policy, it's almost, aggre it's aggressively threat. <laughs> it's threatening. I don't like it and I'm done. That's a big company. And you know what? I mean, little old me, I can't bring down a big company, but. I think we need, I think it's time to boycott Sizzix because of this angel policy. I really do. I'm thinking about making a video. It, Christmas is coming and they're releasing all this Christmas stuff. And I seriously think it's time for a boycott because if I buy your product, I might want to use it on a card or a journal or. It is scary. Let me tell you what, I quoted this. From their page. Let me tell you what, Marilyn. And it says regarding um, regarding their items, Ellison is who owns Sizzix. Okay. Ellison is the parent company. And it says Ellison gets credit and that uh, you're supposed to say that Ellison doesn't um, approve of your product or that they're not connected with your whatever and all these things it but i quote breach that a breach of their breach of their angel policy breach is subject to jurisdiction of the courts um i don't i'm sorry i don't know which part of this i can quote because i didn't write the quotes in but i'm telling you if you go to the sizzix website and read their policy i am shocked i am shocked at the threatening language they use Compared to like graphic 45, graphic 45 says, we want you to use our paper. We want you to use our products, our stamps. We want you to make beautiful things as gifts or to sell, whether it be in a temporary sales location or a re permanent retail place. Um, we would like you to give the company credit. We would like you to name the paper line when possible. And you know what? I'm going to every time. I'm going to, anytime I use graphic 45, anything, I'm going to put up a big sign that says, this is graphics 45 paper from this line. Isn't it beautiful? Cause you know, I do graphics 45 is one of my faves, but I tell you what, and just the fact that they're not demanding that they ask so nicely, I think I'm going to go out of my way for Hampton arts every time. So, but I am done. I'm done with the EK success stamps and you know, you're limited on their punches and I love their punches. Their punches are, are, Oh no, we're not subject to any of their, their copyrights, Marilyn, because we're not, we're not under their jurisdiction of their courts. So you know what? Um, they can't, they can't tell us what to do. If you buy stamps in the UK from UK based companies in the United States, um, you're not subject. You're not a subject of the Royal court or the court of England or the, you know, parliament or whatever. But, um, so you're not, you know, you're not obliged to obey by their laws, but I don't think you could turn around and sell it to a person in the UK if you've broken their law, or at least you might not want to, <laughs> I think I wouldn't, 
But, um, oh no, local craft fairs, you know what, who's going to know? First of all, who, unless you are taking a bunch of pictures and posting them online and, and, you know, I don't think they look at people until you really start making money because the only people they've hit up are the people who have quit their jobs and they're doing crafting full time and they have big Etsy stores and big businesses and they're selling digital papers and designing all these things. And, and that's why people start designing their own paper. Have you noticed that people like Nick the Booksmith, people like Genevieve Designs, they're done with that stuff. They don't use stamps hardly. They don't use stamps and stencils. They design their own elect, um, digital downloads to make journals and to make things because that way they don't have to worry about that nonsense. And you know what? A donation for charity doesn't count. I don't think that that counts. And you know what? I dare somebody to drag me into court for a violation of copyright law from some, some greeting cards I made by hand and donated to a church for a fundraiser. I dare them. You know, any judge would laugh that I don't even think like, I think, any company would be just too embarrassed to even try that because that's just so ridiculous. But, um, yeah, but I do think like for me right now, I'm small time. I, you know what, if I do a craft fair, I might make a couple hundred bucks. I don't normally rake in the dough. I don't have an online store right now. Um, I do this YouTube channel. Boom. That's it. But you know what? I do feel like this. I feel like if I learn the ins and outs of it right now, later when I'm retired, when I have more time to dedicate to producing journals or ephemera or cards or whatever it is I'm making, then I will know. That's why I want to get together this spreadsheet. That's why I want to gather this information now and I don't mind trying to bring down a few companies that are really not looking out for our best interests, but they want our hard earned money. I really don't mind trying, trying to uh, burst somebody's bubble once in a while, you know, because I don't like that big corporate bull. You're lying in your pockets. You know, crafters built a new wing onto your mansion, Sizzix, but you don't want to let us use your image more than 30 times. I don't know. I don't know about that. I get that, that we're not supposed to digitally reproduce. I get that. Don't stamp something and then go to the Xerox machine and copy it 50 times and sell, you know, bunches and bunches of cards. That's, that would defeat the purpose of anybody having to buy the stamp. I get that. But our hand stamped images, you're going to limit my hand stamping. That's so dumb. It's just ridiculous. So on the happy note, number one, we're not going to pay any mind to you. Um, number two, once I get this, this spreadsheet done and distributed to all my friends, we're not going to give you our money. I think I can speak for everyone when they read my notes in this stuff, they're going to be mad. They're going to be as mad as I am and they're going to quit buying ridiculous stuff or they're going to quit buying stuff with ridiculous uh, rules attached to it. And I want to say one more thing. I'm about to be done with this. I want to say one more time. If I buy it, it's mine and I can do anything I want with it. I can go out and stamp my ceiling 800 times if I want. And then I can throw up my garage sale and sell it for a quarter if I want. So if I buy it and I paid for it, it's mine. And I don't think you can tell me what to do with it anymore. I really don't. 
So that being said, I think as long as I'm not making a digital file out of it and reselling it because clearly that's, or not making another stamp, I'm not using it to make mass produce 8,000 stamps like they sometimes, you know, that happens with Allie. They buy one and then they make 8,000. So I'm not the person you got to worry about. I think, you know, that that person is the one you got to worry about. So I think I better go get ready for work. I got to work tonight, but I am going to work on this spreadsheet. I am going to get it together. Eventually, I'm going to do a video with, I'm going to post it somewhere, probably on my, I don't know, a Facebook page or something where people can go and just download it for free. I'm not going to try and make any money. This is more for an educational purposes. So I would like everyone. I think everybody's had the same questions too. So, and there's a lot of stamp companies out there. It's hard to keep track. I have a lot of stamps. It's hard for me to know where they remember where they came from. Oh yeah. You can share this video. Share away mama. So, um, I better get going. I've got a lot to do. Well, thank you, Maria. Yes, I will absolutely send you a copy of the spreadsheet and I will post it somewhere. Um, and just to reiterate, just for my own legal, uh, um, for my own benefit to keep myself out of any hot water. I'm going to say again, any, since I have obtained this information and it's an ongoing process, any of these companies could have changed their angel policy since the time that I have printed this list out. They could be changing it right now as I speak. And maybe one of them will watch this video and be inspired to change their angel policy to make it more friendly to the craft crafting community. So, um, this is not a hard and fast list. This is not carved in stone. This is just what I have gathered at the time that I researched it. It's an ongoing thing. If you have any questions and you don't want to throw away that stamp you just love, check one more time with that company before you part with your stamp. So, everybody have a good night. I've got two more nights to work before my Friday. My Friday actually starts on Thursday this week again. So Wednesday night, I'm always happy when I go to work Wednesday night and Thursday morning. I'm always really happy to see the day shift come in. Yay. Have a good night. Hopefully no falls or transport. No old men attack other patients with their canes. No, they don't do that where we, where I'm at. You get kicked out for violence. They don't play. <laughs> no hitting people. All right. Good night, ladies. And I will see you all soon. Thanks for coming. Bye.